Hi, this is Chris Vernon with Progressive Reporting Agency. Today I'm going to show you how to log on to the FMCSA's safety management system to check your CSA score. Now, knowing your CSA score is incredibly important for several reasons. First, they determine how often your vehicles are pulled aside at ports of entry for roadside inspections. And second, if your scores are out of whack, they'll lead to inspections or DOT audits and compliance reviews. I've been told by FMCSA inspectors that if you have two or more basic scores above the threshold for two consecutive months, you're placed on their list to be audited. As always, this video will be posted on our blog at progressivereporting.com news, or you can access it from our homepage by clicking on the helpful tips link. The video will be posted in both the self-help videos and CSA categories. If you have any questions, post a comment on the blog and I will answer all of them. The easiest way to access SMS or safety measurement system is to go to csa.fmcsa.dot.gov. Then, in the upper right-hand corner, click on the SMS results link. On the next page, down in the lower left-hand corner, you see the A and I login box. Click on that. From this page, there are a few important things to note. Scores are currently only updated about once a month. In the upper portion of the page, you can see when it was last updated, the current as of date, and when the FMCSA thinks the next update will be. There are two ways to log in. First, with your DOT number and PIN, or second, with the FMCSA portal username and password. If you don't know your DOT number PIN, check out my video titled How to US DOT Number PIN Request on the Helpful Tips page of our website in the Self-Help Videos category. Once you have entered your information, click on the appropriate Submit button. You are now in the safety measurement system. You will notice that the DOT number automatically shows up in the search box on the right hand side of the page. To see your CSA scores, all you have to do is click on the search button. This page is the beaten potatoes of SMS. The overview of all your scores in the seven basic categories is on the left hand side of the page. The important things to pay attention to are the three columns in the performance section. The first column, on road, shows how your on road compliance compares with other carriers in each of the basic areas. Let's use the hours of service, service basic as an example. As you can see, this carrier has a score of 62.8. That means motor carriers in his groupings the carriers with 101 to 500 relevant driver inspections have demonstrated better on-road compliance in this basic. The threshold for property carriers in hours of service is 65%, so he's really close to going over the threshold and being more closely monitored by the FMCSA. Since you are logged in, you can click on any of the basics to get more detail, including what the violation was and the vehicle and driver involved. The second column, Investigations, is only applicable if you have had a compliance review and the FMCSA has found violations in one or more of the basic categories. The third column will have a triangle with an exclamation point in it, like this one, if you are above the threshold in the corresponding basic. If you are above the threshold in any of the categories, you have some work to do. If you are above the threshold in two or more categories, you really need to work on improving your scores because you are likely to be in the FMCSA's pool of carriers to go through a compliance review or audit. If you need help preparing for an audit, we have a simple to use audit assistance package in our online store that will take you step by step through the process of preparing for an audit. Sometime in the near future, I'll make another video that will show you in more detail how to analyze each basic. I will also point out some additional things to pay attention to and look out for to help you improve your scores. I hope you found that helpful. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on our blog and I will answer all comments. You can find our blog from our homepage, progressivereporting.com, under the helpful tips link. And this video will be in the self-help videos category.